What's up, babe? So, what you want to talk about? All right. So, just so everybody knows, I do always wear a hat in the podcast, but I actually do have hair. I just want to let everybody know that I'm not hat fishing you. This looks good without a hat on, too. (laughs) Isn't that right, babe? Who thought that you were hat fishing them? Who thought that you were hat fishing them? Somebody in the comments. Did they really? Yeah. No, they did not. Someone said, do you have hair? Comment down below if you thought I didn't have hair. Someone really posted that? Yeah. That asked you if you didn't have hair? Yeah, said I was catfishing or hatfishing or whatever it's called. No way. Who did that? You don't know the person? No, I don't know the person. <laughs> like user zero one 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 five is a little whatever. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> probably. It wasn't me. No, probably it hating on me. No, anyway. it wasn't. I love you. I wouldn't hate on you. Anyway, just because I wear this great hat from insercell.com. See, this is why I don't read comments, cause I don't want I don't want that negativity in my life. Yes, we all know this is really a one man show. I, re- <laughs> I, do, I do all the video editing. I do all the comments. Whatever. Comedy. This is my real hair. So if you want to ask me, <laughs> if you want proof, I can't show you, cause this is not that kind of video. Right. So. Anyway. Anyways. So we're not. We're not. Back to She's the not catfishing you, and I'm not hatfishing you. We got that. Okay. All right. <laughs> we, we look good naturally. That's true. You didn't let, leave it off long enough. See, you got hair. See? Mm-hmm. All right. Man, you put it on crooked. I'm sorry. There we go. All right. Well, now that we got that out of the way. <laughs> All right. Apple's coming out with the iPhone 13. I know, I saw that. It's apparently going to have a better camera and battery life. Is it? Is that enough to make you buy it? Doesn't the phone last all day now? What, what, what do you no, have? It, it'll last about seven hours if you're actually using it, using it to like... What do you have? I got the 12. Uh, I don't have an iPhone, but I'm on my phone legit from the time I wake up. Yeah, so that's where iPhone is short compared to Samsung, right? Mm-hmm. I have my phone goes all day, all night. Right. So y'all like, have so it's, it's got amazing. higher battery life. So yeah. It, so with a higher battery life, keep you a Samsung or would iPhone thirteen? I don't know. I I should ask you because I've never had an iPhone. I've always you, had a Samsung. You constantly use it. You call my phone the house phone. I mean, I'm not using it. <laughs> You're answering it for everybody that calls for us. What is that, tea? Yeah, I needed some tea. <laughs> I'm tired. You got me all waking up early to work out. and I'm not waking you up early to work out. You, ki- you kissed me earlier, and it woke me up, and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I had to stay up until for two hours and just lay there in the bed. And then I got up mm-hmm. after I went back to sleep for a little bit. Anyways, long story short, you got me tired, so I'm having some, some caffeine. So no matter what, and I only you're not half, switching the iPhone is what you're saying. I only drank half my coffee this morning too. Half of it. Yeah. Anyways. That's yeah. great. I'm not switching to an iPhone, so. Nothing iPhone could do would have you switch. No, probably not. Okay. I like Samsung. What about you? I mean, so not even you like, just got this new phone though. Yeah, it just came out last year. So, so this why, year they got a new phone. What are, the, what are the differences? The camera and the battery life. That's, that's it. it? I mean, I feel like it takes enough good pictures. Like. It's got a, a little bit lower starting point than the 12, though. What's so it's mean? cheaper. It's cheaper to buy the it. The 13, yeah. Really? Than the 12 was. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I saw the, I think I saw the commercial where people were trying to use it more for, like, business and... Like, so you didn't have to bring a camera, and yeah, yeah. they're trying to advertise it, like, for videographers and stuff, and... But it's right. like... The, but the, it's, the, but camera's, the camera is good enough where you could literally just go around with your iPhone and record. But like, I think I would... The iPhone's been that way, I feel like. I But I would feel some type of way, like, if we were going to have, like, a, a wedding, 
like legit and have a videographer come do a wedding and they show up with the iPhone instead of like the equipment and the camera like I want I feel like I want that experience like them setting stuff up and setting the scene instead of just whipping out their iPhone being like all right let me take some pictures oh it's already built in it has a camera it has a flash already built in it has a scenery backup I would feel some type of way because like I'm gonna get that bill I mean I think videographers are like five thousand dollars but you know I want the full experience I think I think I'm a little I could probably train my sister to use the iPhone and take videos for my wedding if it was gonna be like that so if people are going that way if they're really advertising it for that like I'm not going I'm not here for it that might be questions that people need to start asking like when they try to find a videographer like what camera do you use what well, I feel like that's like the next exploration level with professional cameras, right? So like with an iPhone, I can take a picture, I can immediately, or I can take a video, I can immediately green screen it mm. and post it to social media. Whereas if I'm using a camera, I have to transfer it from the camera to the iPhone, mm. which is difficult, right? Interesting. Compared to the Samsung where I could just take the SIM card from the Samsung, stick it in or I can take the SIM card from the camera, stick it in the Samsung, and immediately upload it hmm. on the Samsung compared to iPhone. I feel like I gotta do some more research on so it. So like Apple has all their stuff like synced, so if you have a Mac computer, a, Which we don't. a Canon camera, and, a, and an iPhone, you know. It all syncs. It doesn't sync because they're all different. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Right, so you have to have something you know, you have to transfer it, it's, it's a slow process. Whereas, if you just use the iPhone, you can go ahead and bang, bang, and within 30 seconds, you've got a whole video uploaded to social media, already getting interaction, right? Because <clears throat> now it's about how fast you put up content, not the quality, really, so. Right. Thank I mean, you, thank you, Gary V, for that. Yeah. Thanks, Gary. Well, you know, I have nothing to look forward to. Well, basically, you know, like a certain, <laughs> <laughs> there's a certain amount of time that your your content's going to be crap anyway, no matter how much time you put into it. Well, and where it becomes to, and irrelevant, the faster, and the faster you get through that crappy content, yeah, the more the faster you get to when you can actually make actually quality content, right? So, wait, what? Basically, you want to get You're through. finding out faster if it's crappy or not. Yeah, you basically want to get through your crappy content fast until you're actually. Well, why like would you want to do stuff. crappy content? Because you're gonna, it's gonna be crappy anyway when you first start out. Go look at our first podcast compared to this. I think we're great all around. You know, you can go ahead and and back me up on that by leaving a comment. Yeah, tell us if we've improved or not from the. No, first, don't say improve. No, no, no. We didn't use the word improve. You said crappy versus not. Was the first episode we ever crappy. did crappy versus the episode we're doing now? <laughs> Would you consider it crappy? Anyway. <laughs> so basically, the iPhone's trying to make their camera up where it's actually better, if not, or, or not, it, or it's as good, or if not better than professional cameras. Mm. I can I can hook it up with a stand, a road mic, and I'm taking professional videography with my iPhone with 256 gigabytes of memory. I mean, phones are more expensive than professional cameras now too, but... Mm, no, professional cameras are like five grand. <laughs> the phone might as well be five grand. No, it's like a thousand dollars. And you know, uh, Samsung's coming back up with the flip phone. Oh yeah. When did that? When, when when did we start? You know, reverting back like. I think I think the flip phone's going to do really well because that's the the number one problem for for women, right? When you have these big phones, you don't have any place to put them because women's pockets are tiny. Yeah, men did that on purpose. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm, sure it was, I'm sure it was men. To make us jealous <laughs> that we don't have bigger design pockets. pockets. <laughs> so we buy pocketbooks instead for more money. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was a marketing tactic, 100%. Mm -hmm. But no, 
I would only get a flip phone for the dramatic effect to where I'd be like, we're done talking here. Click. That's the only time I'm going to, that's the only reason I would buy a flip phone again. I'm not buying them. So you don't think the flip phone would do better than the iPhone? It might, no, honestly, it might for this generation, because if you look at how this, how these people are, are like the dress code and the wardrobe of these people is all nineties. So like, like the 90s they might as around. well yeah the 90s are coming back so we might as well add the flip phone in there because that's you know that era so it might do well with the with the younger generation i think let's say and then if you can go ahead and take it and put it on computer mm -hmm. easier than you can with the iphone yeah we'll see and they have an interesting commercial too for that we saw that in the movie theater Apple's also coming out with a new fitness app. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have Apple, so I can't use it. So go ahead and talk so no, about it. So no excitement from the from having a fitness app, huh? Mm -mm. You, are, I'm not really excited about it either, so. Uh, but that's their, that's their new things for this year. Hmm. Right, so. What about the fitness app is better than using any other fitness app? It's not. It's just incorporated with Apple. Oh. Uh, so they say go through your Apple Watch, mm. all that kind of stuff. Oh, does it hook up to a scale and stuff too, probably? probably. I mean, and you have to buy their special Apple scale or something, probably. Uh, well, they hadn't said nothing about Apple scale, but that'd be pretty smart. It would be. You're welcome. Go ahead and shout me out. When but my billion, my billion idea. dollar idea was to, be, was to have all these apps already in your camera. Your professional mean? camera so like you have oh. a professional camera you could go ahead and edit it right there on the professional camera mm -hmm. and upload it that would be kind of cool yeah that would be my billion that's what i'm idea. saying a lot of times i feel like when we're talking about ideas and technology like i feel like we're well we mentally are well advanced like we think technology can do all these things already so it's almost like we were in the future coming back to the past like why aren't y'all why don't y'all have this stuff yet well i really think like it, that sometimes. it's a lot different than thinking about stuff versus actually like doing making it, it come to fruition like number one you'd have to raise half a million dollars if not more you'd have to pay well engineers and stuff are you know it people you're talking about you may be talking about 10 million dollars I mean, I didn't even know, I didn't even know that our Wi-Fi, like, depends on if everybody's using it. So, like, I had no idea, meaning, like, Spectrum or whatever, like, during COVID, when everybody was working from home, and everybody's using their home internet, like, if our neighbors were all using their home internet, our wireless was slower, I because was everybody slower. was on it. Right. I'm like, I pay for this. Like, this should work when I want it to. Like, I was not, I thought we were more advanced than we are. Like, mentally, I feel like we should be at a better place with technology than we actually are. And that we might be, and we, we just don't know it. But it also depends on the servers of whatever you're using. So, um, Microsoft yeah, has their own servers. Google has their own servers. Amazon has their own servers. That's true. Facebook has their own servers. It, yeah, there's a lot more into yeah. that. Though. So it's not just about the the cable connection, the okay. fiber optic connection. That's true. So when's the yeah. when's the Apple phone coming out? Twelve. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the day is coming out. Probably it's just probably the Christmas? closer to Christmas, I would think. Yeah. All right, we'll look into it. So no for you on the iPhone 13. No, I just got a new phone two years ago. I'm good. Oh, here's another thing. They so got we got, we both got 5G phones. There is no 5G. Right? And there's no 5G in our area. <laughs> <laughs> so when we go to a 5G area, see 5G, we're like, oh no, 5G, look. Oh, look how much that was. <laughs> this is great. This is why we were all sick a year ago, because they were putting up these 5G towers. Oh Lord, you're going to get us canceled. We saw <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of sick, <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Next topic. <laughs> no, I don't want to get into it. Next but, topic. Um, so yeah, we uh, upgraded phones, <laughs> and we couldn't even get the five G, which what the phone was for. Basically for. Yeah. That's fine. 
Anyways. We'll get it eventually. So no to the Apple iPhone 13. For now. Invest wisely. Mm-hmm. Next topic. What's up, babe? <laughs> so. I'm sorry. Body of Gabby Patino found in Grand Tinton National Park, Wyoming. Gabby Tino, Gabby Petito, Petito. was reported missing September 11th when her family was unable to contact her while she was traveling cross country with her fiance Brian Laundry. Landry Laundry. Brian returned to Florida in in the van that they were traveling around the country in, and immediately hired a lawyer. Lawyer released a statement hoping the search for Miss Patino and her family is reunited. Basically, they found her body. She was dead, which is sad and unfortunate. So the two had a, a fight where the police had to be called on August 12th. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, a lot of people are saying the cop should, like, the cop probably feels really bad, but there was no witnesses said, indicator. Witnesses like, claim... Brian had locked Gabby out of the van and she was beaten on the window. They both were mad at each other. Over. Basically, they were they fighting had an altercation. Over, basically, they were fighting over a phone. So, I was on TikTok and I was looking at this um, this astrologer that read Gabby, Gabby Patino's. Um, they didn't know her, all her exact times, but basically. Her astrology chart when she was born, the the day she was born, not the place because I don't think they knew that or the exact time, but basically like she, which I thought was very interesting because this case like blew up, like blew, blew up. And the astrologer said that basically Gabby, in Gabby Petito's chart, it showed that she was going to be a star and she was going to be in the, in the spotlight and... But, it, I mean, it's sad that it was because it was tra- I mean, it was a tragedy that brought her into the mm-hmm. spotlight. But also that she, um, in all relationships that she had with other people, um, they turned very, they would turn very volatile. Like, that was already in her chart. Like, she was already meant to have these altercations with the opposite sex or, like, a, par- a partner. Which I thought was very interesting. Right. And then there's also people that said that this case was blown up because the government wanted to distract us from something bigger. And then you also got people that... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. So is social media just jumping to conclusions... About her boyfriend? About her and, and, and Brian. Or is Brian's suspicious behavior justifying their... Their jump to the conclusion that he was the, he's the murderer, basically... Well, we we kind of talked about this earlier, like when it first got released that he was like basically missing. That I, I there could be multiple sides to this. I mean, he could be guilty and he's running. We come to find out his mom is a DA, right? So she already knows the <clears throat> steps and procedures to kind of protect her son. Either way, whether he did it or not, and I mean. I think society is very quick anyways already to point the finger at someone to, to just wrap the case up or close the case. So they want someone, it's almost like the society got invested in this story to like distract themselves really. First of all, I want to say that basically social media found this girl's body like Oh yeah, they, you know they had a huge impact on the case. Basically, you 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 went around and people that were there at the same time they were there could go back through footage and figure out where the van was and and helped you know the police officers actually find this girl's body. So I just want to commend social media for that. You well, know, this this girl could still be missing if it wasn't for. You know, people actually looking through their footage and, and finding but what here's, the band was. But here's something else to say about that. I mean, what, no offense. And a lot. This is, this is not how I feel. This is just the point that people on social media said. Like, why are we paying police officers and FBI's when we're doing their job? 
I mean, I don't believe that, but I'm just saying that's an interesting perspective that literally social media solved the case and without the persistence of social media and the world, she'd still be missing. So, but maybe we can put more effort into that with other people that go missing as well. You know, just saying. We're stronger so together. So you feel like social media is justified in already blaming Brian for the murder? Well, I mean, they didn't see him murder her. There's right. no pictures of him murdering her. Right. But I, there could be, I, there could be an incident. I'm not saying there it is, but she could have hurt herself, and he was traumatized, like how you had mentioned. Mm -hmm. Like, and he just is dealing with his trauma. Are there other, are there other? plausible explanations for what's going on right and we just don't know because they can't find him to even talk to him and interact with him to know he just he's just trying to hide so that's very suspicious you know i hope he didn't do that because that's something he's going to live with the rest of his life and he's going to have to live with in prison for the rest of his life if he did it but well number one i would say he's a moron for going back to the state of florida because Florida has the death penalty, mm. right? So if you're, you know, Dang. like, if he gets tried in Florida, like, it's over for him. Yeah. I don't know how true this is, but they said, social media had said they got um, the bounty hunter. Yeah, dog the bounty hunter was looking for him. Yeah. <laughs> that's just funny. That, that's funny to me. Because right. isn't he from a show? Yeah, I mean, he had a long like show. Like, he's an entertainer? He he's That's an what, entertainer. No, no, he's an actual bounty hunter. Like, legit. They just um, filmed it and made it a show. Like, Maze from... Um, yeah, basically like Maze, yeah, from... Lucifer. Lucifer. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. I mean, it's sad that she's gone and sad that she died. You know, maybe it, it will, you know, raise more awareness to... But basically, unstable social, relationship. Basically, too. social media has made it where it's like a domestic violence situation. Type situation when we don't know. Basically. Yeah, basically, you don't know if there was domestic violence at all. But it was based off of an altercation call, so right. they're jump. They're assuming that it but is. It was, a, it was a whole month before she was reported missing. August twelfth is when the. And then she was reported missing September 11th. Yeah, that's all sad. I hope we figure that out soon. So, and they haven't released the time of death or anything like that, so. Mm -mm. But yeah, social media, definitely. But yeah, so now Brian has been reported missing on September 17th. Right, he, van he so like disappeared. Is someone getting revenge on Brian? Or... Is he running? Getting revenge on him. Yeah, like social media took it upon themselves to... To what? To take justice into their own hands. By doing what? Murdering Brian. Oh, you... Oh, for real? Yeah. That's what you're going with? You're jumping, jumping to that conclusion. Oh, or, dang. Or you think he's just hiding? That's a, that's a good theory, though. Hmm. <clears throat> Or you think or you think the father? I mean, <laughs> you know. I mean, there was a, there was a from his phone. He had posted like like a couple second clip of him in the water somewhere. Mm -hmm. It was just he wasn't talking, but I mean that could be crazy. That it could be somebody else making people think he's alive, but really killed him yeah. for thinking. That she or he killed Gabby. Right. That's wild. I didn't think about that as a twist. I don't know. We'll see. Dang. But his parents, I feel like his parents, I feel like they, I don't know. Just by looking at that, I feel like they know he's alive still somewhere. But who knows? Whew. That's interesting. We'll see how that plays out.
you have the cases ongoing. You know, we we hope that we can find justice for for Gabby. You know, and be a part of it. But there are a lot of theories out there. Mm -hmm. People got a lot of time on their hands to think. I guess <clears throat> everybody is a crime solver. Right. It's like all of a sudden everybody got a criminal justice degree. <laughs> <laughs> They all started piecing it together, yeah. you know, with the facts that were presented. So good for you guys. Keep up the good work. Like, just saying. They do better. What's up? What's next? Oh my God. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> What's the next topic? What's the hottest scoop on the street? All right, China's. Am I a cool mom or no? No, China's. That's for Mean Girls. <clears throat> yeah, I'm you didn't get the reference. No, I got it. I don't think you did. I got it. <laughs> Go ahead. China's largest developer, Evergrande, Evergrande set the default on $305 billion in loans, making a possible Chinese version of Lehman Brothers collapse. I don't know nothing about that, Nate. Go, that's all you, honey. Do you think... Th we'll wait for the question. You ain't got the question yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. All me, honey. <laughs> hunty. I don't, I don't know anything about that, hunty. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Do you think $305 billion is too big to fail? Like, should the Chinese government bail them out? Bail their own people out? Well, it's a it's a capitalist con com a capitalist company, right? So they're taking money, investor money from all over the world. To give it to China? To give it to a Chinese company, yeah. Evergrande. What do they do? They make apartments. So the Chinese apartments are going to go under? So literally, yeah. So literally, they were building like 90,000 apartments. Enough apartments to house all of France in, in China. Shouldn't we be concerned that if China, if that's going on in China, that's definitely going on here and we're doing something to prevent that from happening? You know right. I mean? so, so we should be worried about that. Absolutely. Are we overbuilding? We should be worried about that. Yeah, probably. Because right. how are you going to overbuild for China? China's got like the most people in the whole world in just that one little country, well, right? Well, basically, but the Chinese, like China shut down the whole country. Uh -huh. So they couldn't build, they couldn't do certain things. Okay. And then these loan payments are still due, even though the, even though the apartments aren't finished and so they revenue. shut down construction too in China? Yeah. Oh, they wow. shut down everything in China when they shut down. Because apparently it was selective here, so only selective. And they still have it. They still they have the same uh, shortages of supply as we do because Ch the Chinese have to bring in steel and all that kind of stuff. And those people weren't working. Right. That's kind of scary, to be honest with you. I don't know if I want to really. That's kind of nerve wracking. But yeah, so should the Chinese government bail them out? Should the Com Communist Party take over the company? I mean, I feel like they're going to. You don't think they're going to let them fail? No. I mean, they're going to take the company. Like they're the, so that company isn't going to be. All right. So there's two sides. Of the, there's two sides of the argument, right? So you yeah. have capitalism versus communism, right? Mm -hmm. So there's an incentive to let the capitalists fail. So you, so they so, take. So it. they can say they can say, look, communism's better. Mm. But then there's also an incentive for the communists to bail them out because then they're getting the, a cheap asset. Yeah. Right from the from the capitalist failure, which is kind of how capitalism works. Right, something fails, you break it up into its pieces. Mm. You know, and you come out better on the other side. That's kind of how capitalism works. Interesting. Somebody's failure could be somebody else's massive gain. Right. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> So, but that's the question is, is the $305 billion too big? Because it's, I mean, you're talking about, so if Grant Cardone is worth $10 billion, you're talking about 30 times the size of Grant Cardone. 
So they have not even started building these projects? No, they tore them down. Like, they destroyed them because they sat there unfinished and got mold and all kinds of stuff. For just a year? Yeah, I guess. They were probably working on multiple years. Oh, dang. Maybe we're talking about these massive apartments. That's, right? that, I would be really upset. So, so imagine like a hundred story apartment complexes. That just never got finished because they had to shut down. All right. What's wild to me is that we, our construction workers were still working here. So apparently building was really important to us, but like restaurants weren't or right. small businesses weren't. Right. But you know what I mean? Like that's, that kind of, that kind of, blows my mind a little bit but so, well, so, then, so if they let it fail you know all these banks I mean are, is it fail it's already failed they already yeah, tore it, it down it's pretty much already failed yeah so they're like wanting the money yeah they still owe the money they're still they're, they defaulted on the money well, they're not paying the payment okay well let's kind of like this might turn into a separate subject but let's talk about student loans with that then if we all stop paying it, which we basically have, which we pandemic. basically have, yeah, during the pandemic, they canceled. We still moved on, payments. but they're still wanting the money. They still want the money from us <clears throat> later. So I mean, that's kind of a very close comparison. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know how to exaggerate on that. But I'm just saying, like, I don't want to pay my student. They want to start paying back in January. I don't want to pay it back right. in January. But if everybody well, so says they're the not going that, to, then I'm not going to either. Well, that's one of the reasons that the U.S. is having trouble paying their bills, too, because they pay the interest on these suspended payments while they're suspended. I mean, they were going to pay those payments anyways. Like, I'm, I wasn't paying nothing, so... <laughs> And they're still paying my interest because I don't I don't make enough to pay the student loans. I've only that's only I've only paid basically a year of it, mm -hmm. and I'm okay by telling everybody that it doesn't bother me. Right. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like they were gonna pay my interest anyways for thirty years or however however many the the loan. If I never made any more money, they were gonna continue to do that anyways. And lose money on me because after twenty or thirty years, whatever the t the term is, my thing, my <laughs> loan goes away if I can't pay it. So everyone's does. So you were basically heading to the point where the the government should just bail them out. Yeah, and just control it, right? They would control it or no? Yeah. Yeah, the Communist Party would take it over. But the, but the, I guess at that point, there's no building there. You said. So what are they taking over? Whatever, there's else no is, building. whatever else is in their portfolio. Oh, so they'll get other buildings that they've already done before. Right. Okay. I, yeah. Do you think that's what China's going to do? 100% I think that's what China's yeah, going to do. Yeah. I feel like that's a smart move. They're going to say, look, capitalism's bad. We came in. We're communists. We're going to fix this. Like, and we can all do this together and have a better situation. Yeah. That's 100% what, what the Chinese are going to do, in my opinion. And yes, $305 billion is way too big to fail. And mm -hmm. we should never let companies get this much debt. Yeah, like who like gave it should them be, that? It should be illegal to have <laughs> $305 billion worth of debt. Who allowed them to do that? Right? I mean, this it's insanity. China knew what they were doing from the beginning on that. So... I don't remember the exact percentage of GDP, but the three hundred five billion is like a huge percentage of the GDP of China. Mm. So, you know, for them to, you know, basically take that over, crazy. You know, they're basically going to have to increase their production by thirty or forty percent mm. to be able to cover those losses. And then you got to have somebody to buy those products. And since Americans aren't spending the money that they were spending pre pandemic. I thought we were talking about Chinese people. We are. The Chinese, I'm the, sorry. So China and America are interconnected because we give the, the steel, 
you know, the basically the, the cotton, the pork, you know, all that stuff to China, and then China makes it into something and it comes back to us and we buy it. Right? That's crazy. So we're interconnected because we're the biggest. We give them stuff for them to so, alter so, so, it so, and give it back. They can make stuff cheaper than we can. Because mm. their cost of labor is lower. Because their cost of labor is lower, right? I wonder if their cost of living is lower too. Yes. Hmm. That's an interesting concept. So, so we're interconnected. So if if America's not going to buy their product, mm -hmm. you know they can't grow anymore because you know. Right. So. But yeah, this is going to be pretty bad for American investors. It's going to have a ripple effect right down the line, you know, through mm -hmm. the financial system. Mm -hmm. um, maybe China will bail them out. If not, they'll fail and be bought up by other stuff. That's going to be unfortunate. All right, babe. Babe. The, the Toyota Tundra. <sighs> I need to see these pictures. Or, I don't the, even... or the Ford F-150 Lightning. Can we put these pictures up there on the screen too? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah let me see. You know what Toyota Tundra looks like. Mm. Is that the one with the spider on it? 2021 Toyota. Can you do like a side-by-side -side picture on here or no? So, uh, I really like Fords in general, though. So my first instinct was going to go towards a Ford. My first truck was a Ford truck. That's the F one fifty Lightning. Does it have a big extended bed or no? So you have a trunk a in trunk. the front. Because there's no engine, it's all electric. Right? What? So you have a trunk in the front, and then you have a bed in the back. A full bed? Yeah, you can get it with a full bed. That's like a that one's like a four and a half foot bed. I don't know. And you just charge it on the charger, like yeah, a Tesla. Yeah, yeah, just like a Tesla. Yeah. You can go to a Tesla charging station, or do you have to go to a Ford charging station? <laughs> So there's many different types of charging stations. Okay. And they've kind of become like universal with the actual plug. So. Okay. So it's not like a Tesla. It's not like a, dang, what was that? What was that? Uh, what was that uh, terminology that Angelo told us about where you like, you associate a Band-Aid, the brand. God, he said it was, a, it was a terminology, but so it's not, so Tesla, there's more than just a Tesla charging station. Yes. But that's how I'm we invested in one. It's called ChargePoint. Oh, okay. I'm not. I don't think I invested in that. I didn't know about it. Thanks for not mm. sharing that information with me earlier. You know, so. I mean, that truck, is the other Toyota have the truck in the front like that too? No. What does it have that's different? The Toyota is a hybrid. Oh, so it uses gas too. Yeah. So would you rather have the hybrid or would you rather have the all electric? Personally? Yeah. What do you think? I'm kind of still on the fence about this electric stuff. Like, because if that, if it's full electric and it breaks, like there's only certain people that can fix that, like certified to fix that. Mm hmm you have to take like it to, to a dealership. Take it to a dealership. We live in a small town, so... But they gave you the 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty, bumper to bumper, are, including the battery. Are there enough tests to show this, that there's not going to be issues with... Oh, there probably is going to be issues. Anytime you come out with a new technology, there's issues. Yeah, I don't, right. I don't know. I'm still driving a 2001. That's full gas. 2001 what? Mercury Sable. Okay. 
And it's, you know this, it is still reliable too, so I'm just saying, I mean. And it's got one of the best engines Ford ever made in it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. So, I'm, like I said, I'm still iffy on that. I really don't want to get a new car. Like, we've talked about this too. Like, I don't want, like, I will ride my bike. I will buy a bike. I don't have a bike, but I will buy one before I go buy a new car and pay some crazy outrageous numbers that y'all pay for these so cars. The, so the base price for the Ford F-150 Lightning Stop. is 60000 Yeah, right? no, uh-uh. You, you got me messed up all the way up. Fully shown for what they're showing from Ford is 84000 I don't need to go anywhere that bad. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> but, you could, but you could leave your house every day with a full tank. Oh no. I can leave my house with my feet. It goes, it's, it's 250 miles per charge. Is that enough Enough miles? That won't even make it to Charlotte. Right. You have so to stop. No. You'd have to stop. So it's not, be, oh, Chevy's, Chevy's is the one that's made for long distance. Don't they say, isn't, well, that, isn't that the slogan? No. Who's, who's Chevy slogan is, like a is made for long distance? I don't know. Type it in the type it in the phone. AT and T. No. Sprint. <laughs> no. There is a car that says it's made. Is it Jeep? Jeep. Made for long distance, or maybe it's four wheel drive. Made for all wheel drive. Made for long distance. You're spelling things wrong. What slogan is that? You have to type in slogan. Slogan. Car slogan. Car slogan. Put put car slogan. Yeah. I'm I've never heard this slogan, so Go further. Yeah, Ford. Yeah, it's a Ford. That's Ford, yeah. That's not a long distance it's, it's Ford. Go, go Two fifty is not long distance. But it can, it'll go miles. it'll go to three hundred with the full package, eighty four grand. We just gonna be having to go 250 then, cause I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pay that upgrade like, charge like that. It's only 900 bucks a month for 84 months, Pookie. <laughs> That's a like house payment. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. I don't know, friends. If y'all want to get one, let me know. I'll jump in with you. Come pick me up on the side of the road when I'm sh struggling. Cause I'll walk. So what are the problems with electric vehicles? We just said them. Which one? With electric vehicles, you have to charge them. So, so you think distance is your number one problem? Distance or maintenance. So Ma na maintaincing it. Is so maintenance, having to have somebody that's an expert to maintain it. Mm -hmm. But that's all new cars, right? Yeah, I that's don't have good. a new car either. Why are you looking like that? I know you want a new car, Pookie. Um, I mean, not really. But we drive like not that much, so. <laughs> I, li I literally live a mile from my job. So. Right. So, we do not need something fancy to go down through the cut <laughs> of our area that we live in. So people know where we anyway, live. But anyway, so I'll, I'll go through the, the problems with, with <laughs> electric vehicle. Why? I was telling you maintenance and distance. Since Meredith doesn't know. I, <laughs> I was good. I thought this was like a quiz. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so got, All right, Nate. What two, are the the problems? You got two out of ten. What's There's the third ten one? problems. What's the third one? <laughs> um, functionality. So electric doesn't work as good in the cold. Really? What about right. electric heat? So you get. Yeah, it's not as efficient. Oh, okay. As gas. Really? Yeah. Oh, I have electric heat, so. Right. So. <laughs> I'm doing fine in the winter. Girl, we freeze it in the winter. What you talking about? Please donate to the podcast. Oh, <laughs> so we don't have to freeze this winter. <laughs> Just because you wear a hat inside does not mean anything. Go ahead. Watch. Next. She's going to be in here in sweatshirts next month. Watch. Sure will. Episode three, she'll be in here freezing. Probably. <laughs> And I won't, I'll, I'll be fine with that. But, um, yeah, so mostly the problem Three. is, mostly the problem is 
the charge does not last as long when it's cold. Mm. Right? Okay. How much do you lose? So instead of getting 250, you might get 100. How do you know, though? The car is going to shut off? I guess. That's, I that's a good that, question. That's a great question. Right? Mm. Gosh, I'm already I'm already anxious about this. All right, so then the other one is you oh. have to figure out where the charging stations are. Right? I'm not ready for the future. So where where are charging stations in Moorhead City? Lucas Research. <laughs> that's, that's the only one. That's the only ones I know of. Right. 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 So so I'll, I got to make sure I make it to Lucas Research every day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And if you're a time visitor, how are you supposed to know where Luke's research is? Right. And how are you supposed to know that's the only... See, I already have anxiety. This is why I can't move into the future. What's the next problem? So the time it takes to charge. Oh. You need to have a nice Which book. Tesla has made it where you could, they could charge a Tesla to 80% in 15 minutes. Oh, okay, that's a nice little bathroom break. Right, so... <laughs> So they've done pretty well on that. Good job, Tesla. But that's just Tesla. Mm. Right. right. That's the next problem. Mm. You said there was ten. There's a lot, but I mean, that's all I got right okay. now. Okay. So the original question was the Tundra versus the Ford. I like the fact that the Ford has the storage underneath it underneath the, the hood i yeah. guess they have a frunk yeah a frunk a front I trunk i like it a front frunk. trunk did you make that up no they made it up oh i've never heard that <laughs> <laughs> a frunk yeah so i mean but i i actually I, i'm a ford person so but toyota's style looked really cool compared to ford's i think i like the toyota style better you like the style of the, the Tundra better? Yeah, like the actual, I don't know, it just looked cooler. And say, so Toyota ha also has a reputation where they don't cut corners in their vehicles. Mm -hmm. So like, as all these companies were trying to cut costs, they would make things smaller. Hmm. Whereas Toyota kept them, so like, Toyota would keep their parts bigger and still steel instead of plastic or... Stuff like that. So, so they weren't skipping parts. And Toyotas last a long time too. Right, so that's that's why Toyotas last mm -hmm. so long. Right, so I actually really like the Toyota dealership. Also in, Toyota is made in South Carolina, so Oh, it's like local. So a lot of people support the Toyota brand. Ford's not local? No, Ford is made in Mexico. Um, no. I like Mexico, so <laughs> And specifically, Ford lobbied the government so that imports from Mexico are not charged an import tax. Isn't that good? Yeah, for Ford, for I guess. Ford. For anybody making stuff in Mexico. Okay. Still better made in China. Mm -hmm. but. but I was going to say, I like dealing with the Toyota dealership in New Bern. I've had, I mean, I don't even have a, a car that goes there. My friends do, and I just love how, like, attention to detail they are and mm -hmm. and their lobby is nice they have coffee like it's just a nice little sitting area tv they so you out, think if all things were equal you would go with the toyota it'd be really hard for me if i had money to just blow yeah if you just i'd get it. both shoot <laughs> and then test it out myself but i'm not going to go long distance in a um <clears throat> Car that have to so charge. I know this one's actually going to surprise you. Which one are you going to go with? But Toyota. I would go with the high. If well, see, Ford's got a hybrid too. But if you're just going the hybrid Toyota versus the Ford Lightning, mm -hmm. then I'd have to go with the hybrid Toyota. Mm -hmm. So because right now, I can have the best of both. Yeah, that didn't surprise me. Right. <laughs> but if but if I was going between Ford Hybrid versus Toyota Hybrid, I'd probably still go with the Ford Hybrid. Because you like Fords. Because that's yeah, that's my jam. I like the way the Ford looks better. I like the way it drives better. I like the way it sits better. I like the the technology that it has, where you can 
assist in backing a trailer. Yeah, that's cool. You can pop the tailgate down and step up on the tailgate. Mm -hmm. You know, I like how the step sides, how they can go up and down. They need to make an, a truck to um, bring two tailgates better. To tailgates better? Yeah, the tailgate better. How the tailgate. Okay. How they. So that's like have a couch in there or something. A couch. Yeah. <laughs> a pop out TV. I mean, if they can do if they if they can do electric stuff and you can stop and and charge your stuff up and you don't need gas anymore, I think they can find a way to put a mini couch in there and a TV that pops out. Okay. Maybe we can uh, make that an accessory. <laughs> I mean, it was aftermarket, like, aftermarket right. accessory. I was gonna say, if, if we're already paying eighty thousand dollars for a truck, might as well pay an extra thousand for a TV and a couch and a couch. Well, okay. shoot, that's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blow up couch. You hit the button and it blows out. Man. That's cool. Like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. That's what I'm saying. I'm not from this time era, time period. <laughs> I'm from the future. Looking at y'all, like, what are y'all doing? I'm Nate. I'm Meredith. And this is the So What You Want to Talk About podcast. So, what you want to talk about? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. All right, so <laughs> in the first episode, the full episode, we added a segment that was not a short segment. Tell us the topic of that that segment please tell us and you'll be entered to win an intercell t-shirt <laughs> and this better. is the so what you want to talk about podcast signing off signing off Woo! peace <laughs>